Hello my lovelies, welcome back. Today I have a favourites video. Already we're looking at the end of January and some of the favourites from this month. There is skincare, hair and colour and I've also got the book I've been reading as well so let's get started. First things first, colour and I've had this particular product for probably two, three years. It smells fine so I'm using it and it's the Dior Rose Powder. Um, I don't know why I've come back to using it, it was just one of those things, it was there and I thought oh I'll pop that on and I absolutely love the effect on my skin. It doesn't sit in any pores or fine lines, it gives a really nice finish and glow to the skin and I do like to use a pink shade although I have quite a yellow toned skin and I know that a lot of pink colours can make you look orange I find it a really nice finish to the skin I love this powder, it's so fine, it's beautiful and it presses into the face without looking caked I've used it an awful lot and neglected my other powders but this has been a firm favourite Next, a primer, and I haven't really been using primers at all. And again, it was just a case of, oh, when I was sorting through my foundation drawer, that I realised I hadn't used them. And the first one I went for was the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. This was a freebie from the My Little Box, and I absolutely love it. Aside from the Hourglass Primer, I have to say, I think this is one of the best primers I've ever used. I press it into my skin and give it a couple of seconds and then I immediately apply my foundation. I find that works the best on my skin. It just leaves almost a glass finish for you to apply your foundation onto and it really holds and seals that colour in place. By the end of the day my makeup still looked immaculate and I love the fact you literally need a pea size amount of this product, it is beautiful. You'll have seen this a few times in a few videos, I'm absolutely hooked, I love it. And it's the Sunday Riley Good Jeans, this is a corrective product, absolutely whackingly full of lactic acid. My skin loves it and I noticed a difference in a couple of days. It is beautiful. I stopped for a couple of days and I really noticed when I left it out of my skincare routine. My skin is brighter, it's more even, it just looks healthier and happier. I love it. And I've nearly used a whole bottle. Now it does say to use two or three pumps. I only need one pump on my face but you certainly seem to go through it a lot. An absolute wonder for the skin, certainly suits my over 40s. A hair product and again this has featured maybe in one or two videos and it's the Lee Stafford um, hair growth treatment and it's for hair that never grows past a certain length. Um, a beautiful product, I find it conditions my hair so fantastically that I'm only shampooing and using this. It smells like Thierry Mugler's Angel, which I keep saying, it's just divine. I love it, you only need sort of an egg-sized amount, probably less depending on hair length obviously, but it's just a beautiful product. I'm always looking out for offers in boots so I can grab some, but a firm favourite at the moment. I just love the condition of my hair when I've used it. A colour favourite and it's the MAC Paint Pots. Not only do I love MAC Paint Pots because they're great eyelid primers, I use the shade Painterly for my eyelids, but they're just great cream shadows. Once they're on, they're there to stay. They're really great if you're in a rush and you don't have time to be super creative with an eyeshadow palette. Cream shadows are just brilliant. You can use synthetic brushes with them or you can use the good old fingers and whack them on. I absolutely love them. They're great if you do have oily eyelids because they just seal in place and hold. Really good for under the eye as well. If you don't like to use a harsh sharp pencil they just give that softer finish. If you have a fine headed brush you can do an eye line which again isn't as harsh as using a gel liner. I absolutely love these. I have the shade Groundwork which is a taupey shade. I then have Perky which is a peach shade. I quite like peach because it really brightens the eye area. Area. Then I have Constructivist, which is beautiful, a really deep bronzy brown. And last but not least, Painterly, which I always use on my eyelids as a primer. It's just a really great product. And I've really loved using cream eyeshadows this month. These have 
a firm favourite and I'll certainly need to add to the collection. Okay, we're on to a few more drugstore products. Um, cream blushes. I love a good cream blusher and I adore the packaging of Topshop. This is the shade Head Over Heels and it's a beautiful cream blush. Very reminiscent of the Kevin Arquan, although I do find those a little bit creamier. These are pretty good and the shades they have are beautiful. This I love because it's got that peachy tone but there's a pink to just give a pop and a lift to the face this really lifts my face i love it another drugstore find um it's been out a long time everybody's raved about it and finally i'm there too and it's the l'oreal true match foundation it is beautiful the coverage, the finish, you would think it was high end. It has been compared to the Giorgio Armani foundation. I would say this is quite a medium heavy coverage. Lovely on the skin, absolutely beautiful. And when I applied it over the Laura Mercier primer, it was immaculate. It looked as though I was going back on the cosmetic shop floor and spending a day selling lipstick. It just gave me that gorgeous finish to the face love this this shade is beige rose r3 c3 so it has a pinky tone through it which i love i just love the blendability of this product i find it probably needs something more like a buffing brush to work it rather than a louise young the large headed louise young um foundation brush something that's got more density rather than more flexibility when applying it but really really beautiful foundation and finally, a product from a blogger and YouTuber. And I will be doing a post about some of the bloggers and YouTubers out there who've brought products out. And I've picked sort of one or two things to review for you. But one I've really liked is the Tanya Burr Lip Gloss. This was um, a new colour out called Aphrodite. It's sort of a peachy colour. Nice depth of colour from these to say they're lip glosses. They are very sticky. Um, so if you've got long hair, it will stick into the gloss, but it does make the gloss last longer. I love the colour. I love the smell of the lip gloss. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so sort of fruity and it smells sort of melon and really luscious. It's lovely. The lip applicator is quite flexible as well. I was quite surprised. I expected it to be quite a stiff application, but it does actually make it quite easy to work blend onto the lips. I have been very happy with this good value you can get them from superdrug and i think feel unique as well stock tanya burr products it's the only one i have but looking at the quality of pigment and color you get um they don't dry the lips out either which i quite like one of the best blogger products out there so those are the products for january um i haven't had a lot of time to read i've sort of been sorting everything out again after christmas but the book i've been reading is by jessica a fox and it's called three things you need to know about rockets and this is actually based on jessica's life she was based in america and worked for nasa but she always had a dream of sitting behind a counter in a bookshop um, and that's where she ended up in Scotland. It's a wonderful story. It's very moving. You live her life with her and at the end you really sort of, I don't want to give anything away, I don't want to do a spoiler, but in the end you're really f hoping that everything works out and her fairy tale comes true. Um, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to say a huge thank you for your wonderful comments regarding my question and answer videos really lovely comments i'm so pleased you enjoyed the videos i won't be doing another q a video for a few months but please do ask questions because i do make a note of them and when i have enough i'll film another one in a few months time so if you have anything you want to ask please do keep asking them and i will come round to it again but i don't want to bore you but thank you for your positive comments it was lovely to read them all it was really really nice and that's all. So I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye.